city has two public hearing cases for you on the agenda. It is two separate requests for the same piece of property. Um, the first one is a rezoning request, um, which if that is approved by city council, then it becomes eligible for the next request, which is a planned development proposal under the new zoning. Um, I think we can perhaps discuss them somewhat together, but they really need to be acted upon separately. Um, there are separate issues at stake, um, zoning and land use, uh, as opposed to site design and land use. Um, the rezoning portion is to rezone 1.8 acres from R15 to R10. This is a requested by Tom Brooks LLC. Um, the property is located on the north side of Eagle Road and address is 316. Um, this is between Oak Street um, and Country Club. It is diagonally across Elm Street from Langdale Place. Um, in your packets and on the map of the screen is the zoning map, uh, comprehensive plan, shows this is uh, established residential character area, which is for residential uses, residential zones only. And then in the area, you can see the, the developed pattern and lots of urban forest around it. Um, properties, currently here is a rental house on the property, um, a large backyard, and then adjacent you have other residential uses. Um, the development plan, Originally, your packet showed a little bit different layout, um, but this is what they're proposing currently. Let me draw your attention to the rezoning packet. You may recall that this exact same request was brought before you back in November. The rezoning from R15 to R10 by the same applicants. The Planning Commission reviewed it. Um, staff had recommended approval. The Planning Commission had recommended denial by a big vote of 5 to 3. <coughs> City Council, but the applicants were through for the City Council. <coughs> the package for the rezoning is very much the same as back in November. The issues, the acreage, and the surrounding patterns and so forth are the same. Um, staff is still recommending approval. Uh, what is interesting to note, if you'll turn in your packet, it's what we call a conventional layout for R15 and R10 zoning. The property has very limited frontage on Eagle Road. Um, which means it cannot be subdivided off the of Beaver Road. It is stuck to just one lot. Um, the only way to subdivide the property, even though it's 1.8 acres, is to create a road of some kind. To do that conventionally, the road must go up the east side of the property, um, and you would create lots off of that new road. Um, one concern in doing that is it eats up quite a bit of the land. But if we were to lay it out conventionally, the maps in your packet is pretty much the only way it can be. Under R15 zoning, as it's currently zoned, you could get three lots out of the property. Out of R10 zoning, you would increase that to four lots. Uh, with the R10, please note that the lot sizes uh, have to be larger than the R10 minimum, um, anywhere from say, 12 to 17,000 square feet. Um, the pattern in the area is somewhat mixed. You have R15 on the north side of Eagle Road. To the south, you have the PRD10, which is Belt Rise subdivision. Um, PRD 10 is an old zoning district that was planned development with an R10 sort of as the template. Um, typically in PRDs, the lot sizes were smaller than what the lot size or the zoning number indicated. So the lots there are around 8,000 square feet. And then you see other R10 further to the west. Um, the R15 to the north is a much larger size. Um, the Jadam Place subdivision to the east is zoned R15. Um, but it meets an R10 standard in terms of house size and lot size. And that is all part of what used to be a county island, um, which was developed many, many years ago under some different standards. So zoning-wise, you have R15 on the north, a little higher density residential to the south. <coughs> they're proposing something sort of in between. And then in your pack, you see the different layouts of what could be done conventionally. Uh, their purpose in all of this is to make the property a little more eligible some density, which is the next agenda item. The right now before you is simply the rezoning request to go from R15 to R10. Um, staff, just like last fall, we found the rezoning part consistent with the comprehensive plan or standards for exercise of zoning power. We're recommending approval. Okay. 